different, great to have a major UFC live event back in the house that MJ built. Yeah, this is a massive night for the fans. The fans are always rowdy here in Chicago. They love seeing championships won, and championships are on the line tonight from the United Center. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. All right, so we'll see if Brandon Moreno can get off to a good start tonight. He is a five-tool player, but the jab would appear to be his weapon of choice here in the early game. And, and honestly, John, he's developed it even further as he has gone to Missouri to train. The guy is getting better. He does a good job of finding his range. He's shortened his stance a little bit, so he's not so much in a boxing stance, but he is using that to defend leg kicks more effectively, but also still have the ability to go find that jab. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. And the front kick is there. Nice job by Manel Cup. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Oh, back and forth we go. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Under a minute now to go in the round. Nice free punch. Oh, nice takedown defense. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh. What a beautiful body kick. You better put that elbow down or you're going to keep blasting his body kick right to your ribs. Moreno going for the takedown. He misses. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot, and it will shut your body down completely. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. It's the elbow there. Moreno's in half guard now. He's getting the ball here. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Pop gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Nice jab by Brandon. And he gets that thing to the target quick. Gets to the target quick. And you can see the assassin baby start to really feel himself right now. He has found his flow, he's in his groove. And like I said, that jab is what starts everything coming from the fighter from Mexico. Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Moreno. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. 
Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Heavy kick downstairs. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. All right, so there it is, yet another strike to the body. Feels like that was what the game plan was rooted in coming in here tonight. Absolutely, John, and you could think that he's setting him up to go up top, or honestly, if he continues to land at this rate, at this target, he could finish him here. So I wouldn't change anything unless he makes it. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. He's got him in the clinch once again. Oh, he's got his back. He's got to get him in the air to try to return him to the mat. Oh, right into Mount. Going for the arm here. Oh, oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover. All right, let us get you some replays now from that previous round, DC. And certainly, you got to think some body kicks are going to find their way into this highlight. Yeah, he's throwing these body kicks, and he's throwing them with all of his force. He is driving his shin into the rib of his opponent. If his opponent does not block these, if he does not catch these kicks, his night is going to end very soon. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, put their foot in the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close as well. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Just misses with the straight left hand. Wow, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect him. Drives the shin into the rib. Great body kick. Beautiful punch lands. Oh, and again, he lands a kick to the body. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Coming, it's Moreno gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, my goodness. Big right hand. A minute to go. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He 
and hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. to the championship rounds. Take a deep breath and relax. Let's clear the cobwebs. You got rocked that last round, but you're fine. This round, let's get on your bicycle. Use the octagon. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust him. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here is round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, six seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC flyweight champion of the world, Manel Starboy. I'm flying out of my seat. We got a new UFC flyweight champion tonight, DC. We knew it was going to take a big effort to dethrone.